Hello guys, I'm a UUX and a graphic designer for Cost2S and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to become a UI UX designer in 2024. The first thing we are gonna see is qualification. Do I require any sort of qualification or I should be in a computer science background or IT background? So this is the first question when it comes into your mind when you're getting into the designing field. Uh, there will be no sort of qualification required, anything you may be from biology or computer science or even if you are an art student, you can also become a UI UX design. There will be no barriers in the qualifications. And the next thing we are going to see is coding knowledge. Do you require any sort of coding knowledge for UI and UX designing? Uh, there will be no coding required uh, in UI UX um, as well as the graphic designing. So the next thing is tools. What tools should I learn uh, when I want to become a UI and UX designer? There are many tools available in the market and some of them are Figma, Adobe XD and Sketch and most of the Indian industrial experts and uh, experienced person prefer uh, using Figma because uh, it is more easy to use and prototyping in Figma is more easier than other softwares. So and the next thing is what is the difference between the UI and UX? Uh, the UI stands for the user interfaces which basically deals with the quality and appearance of the websites or the products you are going to design. The UX stands for user experience uh, where I will be making the uh, prototyping and functionalities of the product you have designed. Uh, what are the functions the product you have designed need to do? Uh, how easy it should be for the users? Um, that are the things you will be making on the user experience part. The next topic is getting into the current trends. Once you have mastered all the tools and learned the UUX principles, uh, after that you will be getting into developing the projects uh, where you need to be in the current trends of the industries. Uh, otherwise your designs will be not more visually appealing or it will be not competitive to the other websites or product you are going to design. So, and the next major thing is where do I find these references and design trends for designing a website. Uh, if you want to uh, get into the design trends of the everyday what's happening in the designing industry, you can go check for the medium uh, which is basically a blogging website uh, where the experienced designers will be posting what are the current market trends in the UI UX as, the, as well as the graphic designing field. So you can go check for it and you need to see some of the reference website which is available in the internet to make your websites uh, look different from the others. Uh, you can go search for Behance, Dribble uh, where you can see the reference websites um, you can take and use for it. And the next thing is certifications. Where do I go and do certifications? Uh, well, there are too many courses available in the internet and the three most suggested uh, designing certifications are Google's UX Essentials which is basically a paid but you can watch uh, every single video and except uh, getting the certifications. Uh, if you want certification, you can just pay and you can get the certificate. And the next two free courses are given by the Great Learning and the Udemy, which is uh, also a good course comparatively to Google's UX Essentials. And the next thing is uh, portfolio. After getting all these things, getting mastered, learning all the tools, and you need to build the projects of your own. Course, uh, after the after the learning process, the next step is getting into the uh, job or getting an internship. Otherwise, you can also go for and freelancing. If you are getting into there, they need to know what are, what is the experience you have done, what are the past projects you have made, and you need to show them. Uh, I have a potential for doing these works. So for that, you need to make a portfolio where you will be listing all the websites and projects you have done so far. So the clients or the HRs see the projects you have done and they will be hiring you so maintaining and creating the portfolio is the major thing in the UX designing field and that's all about this uh, just follow what are the things I have said so far and if you want me to make a complete uh, tutorial of the Figma just drop a comment below and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more design tutorials and tips thank you